Kathy Pilfer with Solar City, still at Rosebud Continuum. What I have behind me is an example of a 10 cubic meter digester that is completely above ground. Um, what I really like about this system is its stability and in the sense that you don't need to do any food grinding because on the opposite side is the feeding tube and it's about this far around and you can just put your food waste directly into it. But really what I think is my favorite is this size digester right here. And if you look at this size hole and how high it is, you know, me being um, a woman and most women are doing the cooking in the house, can easily access this port to feed this digester. Take a bucket full of food waste and just simply dump it in and maybe with a tamper, just tamp it down into the system. So this tier is also a 10 cubic meter system, just like this system right here except it's buried below below the earth. So this right here is the neck of the digester, which is that narrow part that you see on top. That big body of the digester is actually below ground. And under here is um, the liquid slurry for the digester. And there's a dome. And underneath the dome is the gas that collects. So the dome is covered by water. The gas collects, creates pressure, which then pushes our gas out of this digester 100% passively with no electricity whatsoever. And over here is a hole where they're going to be building a third digester. And I believe it's going to be buried down even further to show how you can double utilize the space for like maybe having, you know, like a playground, you know, around it or a growing space around it. So, you know, you have three different ways that you could be doing the 10 cubic meter systems above ground, partially below ground, and then completely below ground. Again, favorite thing I love about this system is passive use of the gas coming out with no electricity and super ease of access of use without having to grind food waste right here at Rosebud.